Okay, we're moving through this uh, problem uh, at a good clip. What we want to do now is we want to take those support figures and we want to uh, calculate confidence based on the support. So uh, just to remind everybody, the uh, confidence is the support of the two items uh, together divided by the support of the antecedent. So what we want to know, like if we're looking at this cell, what we want to know is assuming that somebody has purchased cereal, what is the probability that they have also purchased milk, right? So that's sort of what we're, what we're trying to get a handle on. And uh, so we've got some tools to make this happen. I think where we want to start is I am going to give this a this range a name because we're going to be using it quite a bit. And so I'm just going to call that range support. And uh, that should come in handy for us for lots of things that we want to do. Um, we, we could use absolute references and so on, but this might just be a little bit easier. And that's what we have named, uh, named references for. So if I come here, just want to make sure, yep, support is there. That's great. And uh, let's sort of uh, go from here. So what we want to do is we want to uh, start by saying we want to click on the support of the joint items. And then from here, we want to divide that by the support of the individual item that's in that column, right? So in order to do this, we're going to need an H lookup. There's probably other ways to do it, but we're going to use H lookup. And the value that we want to look up is the one that's associated with this, this piece. That's how we're, we're calculating it. And since we want to lock this, we're going to be moving this around. I want to lock this column. So I'm going to put in a mixed reference and I'm going to lock the uh, column there. And then our table array, we've already given it a name. We're just going to call it support. Right. So it knows that you can see that it's highlighted in purple. It already knows that, oh, yeah, that's uh, where you want me to look. If it finds a matching value, it should return the item in row index two. And we only want an exact match. So we're going to sort of put that in and that should be false. So that's how that equation should look. Now, the truth is the the diagonal down this uh, down this table is all going to be one because the probability that you buy milk, given that you've purchased milk, is you know well that's always true. So uh, that's kind of silly. What we actually care about is everything else. So I'm going to pull this around and make sure this looks right. And if you notice some differences here, uh, some of that is just going to be. Uh, the precision that's on each of those items. So we're going to sort of go through and just double check this. Uh, so you see some of these have lots of precision. That's really just a function of how wide these columns are. So I'm going to sort of make them a little more regular so that we can feel pretty good about that. And then that should help us. That should help us interpret if this is correct or not. So let's interpret what these confidences are, and um, we'll check a few. A couple should jump uh, right out at us, right? So we've got this series of ones here. And the argument that's being made is anytime somebody purchased bacon, they always purchased eggs, right? So the confidence of bacon and eggs is one. So let's go confirm this, right? So if we take a look, there are three transactions with bacon and all of them include eggs. So that is correct. Uh, we see the same thing with orange juice, right? So um, with orange juice, it's basically saying if somebody purchases orange juice, they always also purchase eggs. We can see there are four transactions of orange juice 
The first two include eggs. The third includes eggs. And the fourth includes eggs. So that is accurate. Um, you'll notice that it's not true in the other direction, right? So if we purchase eggs, we only purchase bacon 60% of the time, right? So we have five transaction with eggs, only three of them include bacon. And uh, we, when we purchase eggs, we only purchase orange juice 80% of the time, right? So we have five transactions with eggs and one of them does not include orange juice. So uh, that is our confidence. It looks like we are doing uh, pretty good. In the next video, we'll calculate lift, and then we'll do some analysis and uh, think about what this means for our small store. See you soon.